Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise on this amendment in support of the underlying TRAIN Act. The TRAIN Act is a bipartisan plan to analyze cumulative economic impacts of EPA regulations to better understand how these policies affect American manufacturing, energy prices, and private industry's ability to create jobs. The question that Americans want to know is, why are our jobs leaving? Why aren't we making things? And this bill will help us to, uh, to define that. And here today, in support of the TRAIN Act, are Jennifer Frazier and Jeff Rose up here in the gallery from Vantage Data Centers, a next-gen data center, and a small business from my home state of California. This has become a, an industry leader in performance efficiency and environmental stewardship. Since its inception in 2010, Vantage has sought to minimize electricity consumption at their data centers as, elec as electricity is far and away their greatest cost. The price of electricity has caused many companies in their industry to flee to other countries with a more welcoming business climate and cheaper electricity prices. Despite this existing competitive disadvantage for the United States, the EPA proposes new utility max standards will raise electricity prices and will have an adverse effect on even the environmentally friendly data center like Vantage and force more jobs overseas. The EPA has proposed regulation after regulation that would stifle job creation, hurt American economic competitiveness abroad, and increase energy prices on families already strained by the tough economy. The House Republican jobs agenda focuses on removing these barriers to job creation and includes necessary reforms like the TRAIN Act. The support of job creators like the National Association of Manufacturers, the Association of Builders and Contractors, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and Small Business Entrepreneurship Council further proves the need for the TRAIN Act to ensure that the administration does not continue to hamper the economic recovery and job creation of private industry. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. Chair would remind